Hey y'all, hey, I'm back and I'm here today to share with you our 2023 Illustrated Faith Camp Kit. And I am so excited about it because in the past, um, the kit was released in June and then again in July, but this year you can get both June and July um, together. And so I'm gonna show you what they both look like, take you on a walkthrough and let you know that I am doing a giveaway. So make sure you stay until the end so that you can find out how to retrieve one of these kits. So first I just wanna share, I pulled out some of my old goodies, um, my old Girl Scout handbook, which I actually purchased from a thrift store to use for a camp kit in the past. But after looking through it, I was strongly advised not to write in this book. <laughs> And uh, Dina probably wouldn't be so happy about it, but Dina gave this book away. But I just want to share with you all that this book is like filled with such goodness. And then also I pulled out some old camp goodies that I've had from the past, including this pouch, this washi tape that I've used before. Um, and also where I store all my things during camp time in this little pouch. Uh, so um, I am not here to advertise these things. I'm not sharing where I got it all from. I just wanted to share with you that I have a process in which I store all my camp stuff because I believe um, that they should have their own special spot and place because of how much we enjoy this time of the year. Also on the screen, I have a printable by my girl Jill. This is part one of the Camp Hope uh, toolbox just some phrases that you can use in your camp kit and I love the lettering of this it looks like a type font and it has little name badges it says hello my name is and so I plan to use this and I printed it in advance just to share with you all some additional possibilities that are available at illustratorfaith.com you can get more things including the trading card y'all OMG <laughs> So I'm excited about the trading cards um, because I'm on one. <laughs> also because um, these cards feature all of the contributors of this year's camp. And so I'm just really excited to uh, have those on hand for my journaling needs. So let's get started. Let's dig right in. I'm going to start with this brown bag. It's very small. I've already opened it. This is the washi tape for kit camp and I love the way this looks so I got to show y'all up close and personal this washi tape so here is a um, pattern that matches the color scheme so you'll see that these color schemes all correspond with each other I really like this you can use this any time of year but I really like this for camp we also have this floral pattern this is called Living Hope. This pattern is called um, Picnic Table. Uh, oh my goodness, I love that. Why am I just now reading the names? <laughs> but um, I love this floral pattern on this one. And then this one is called Paint by Number. It looks like um, a scene at camp, not only at camp, but it's like as if you painted um, a canvas. That's what this washi tape looks like. I'm going to open it, you all, but I just wanted to show you real quick what they all were right out the bag. This is Mushroom Camp, AKA Tiffany Washi. <laughs> so as you can see, they have little mini uh, mushrooms on it, on it. And this is a thin washi. And then this one is called Camp Floral. And it has a repeated floral pattern in red and pink. So, this one i think um i think you all know what it looks like but i'm still going to open it just so you can see it outside of this plastic packaging and start galvanizing some ideas on how you can use it so here it is outside of the packaging also let me take out the tiffany washi <laughs> Uh, we say this about tiff on the team because she absolutely loves mushrooms like she goes gaga for mushrooms. She picks them out of gardens. I've seen her do it live myself, and we just love her for it. But here is the mushroom washi up close. 
in this um, a thinner washi, you know, compared to this one, you can see the size difference. And then this is paint by number. This washi tape reminds me of like Bob Ross. <laughs> it has like those scenes that we believe we could paint because he made it look so easy. <laughs> so, um, and we could. I am going to unroll a bit of this if I can find the start. Let's see. Yes, I got the start. Okay, so I'm gonna show you this because there's a lot of different things on here. So here is this washi. And I believe now it's repeating. So yes, that's the mountain scene again. These are all the scenes. You got a lake, some mountain scenes, some forest scenes, a river. This is very, very pretty. And just like a little pop of this inside your um, journaling would add that camp feel to your camp journal. And then now I'm opening the Living Hope Washi, which is a repeated floral pattern. And if you're looking at my screen really, really, really hard, this bag, this bag on the top is actually that pattern enlarged. So um, here is this up close. It's a lot of uh, pink and teal florals with little pops of orange. Um, little florals in there as well. And then the last one, I think y'all know what this is, but I'm still gonna open it. Um, this is Picnic Table. This one reminds me of Christmas. <laughs> I know it's camp, but like anything that has like this pattern, I know it's modeled after a picnic table, but anything that looks like this just gives me like Christmas vibes personally. So love 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 this one um as well i'm actually gonna pop all of these onto my little washi ring so that i don't lose my camp washi so so cute and um y'all don't remember where i got the ring from just in case anyone <laughs> comments that i don't i really don't and uh I just know that I've been keeping my camp stuff on here for a long time. I took some old washi off because I saw how much washi came in this kit and I didn't want um, it to be overloaded. I just kept the outdoorsy ones, the wood one, and this is from a really old Illustrated Faith kit. The colors always correspond with camp, so I always keep that one on the ring. Okay, so now that we've done the washi, I'm now gonna open the, so we get a cover that's made from, I wanna say it's acrylic. Um, it's that same material that was used to create those little plastic covers that we got for many albums in the past. And so here is our mini album cover for camp, which, oh y'all, ain't this cute? Oh my gosh. So the inside and outside of the cover looks like a camera. The back um, part of the cover looks like that floral pattern from the washi tape I just showed you. And so uh, one thing I wanna share, also the rings come with this. They did not come on it. I stuck them on there <laughs> before, the lot, before this video. So um, I wanted to share with you that there, if you look closely, I got a little string in there. If you look very closely, there's like a plastic film over top of the cover. You're going to have to peel that up. So I just stuck my nail under there and pulled it off. And it reveals a very neat, um, glossy cover. You're going to have to do that on the front and the back. Just in case you were wondering, like, why does it look so frosty? <laughs> so it's frosty because it was protected in shipping. And you're gonna to have to do the same with the back cover as well. You could leave it on, but just know that it's gonna look frosty. So I am gonna go ahead and pull this up. I want to do this here so that you can see me do it and remember to do that to your own. Um, and then whatever you document for camp, um, you can punch holes in it and stick on the rings of your album and this will be your cover and back cover, okay? So that's that, I'm gonna put that down here for now. And now we're gonna go into some of the um, 
additional things you can purchase to go along with your camp adventure. So I have here some index cards with, of course, the different patterns. I'm gonna open this so you can see what patterns are in here. And they fit perfect inside the camera cover. So if you wanna do your journaling exclusively on these cards, you can. So here's what you know some of the patterns look like. I love that mustard um, lined one. And the patterns repeat on the back. So you can use the front and backs of these cards. They come in camp colors. You see green, lime green, um, the teal blue, mustard yellow, the orange color, some pink. So all those colors are included. And you can see, once you punch the holes in there, it'll fit perfectly inside the camera. So that's something to consider if you currently don't have any ideas on what to do. And then y'all know we love the library cards. <laughs> so we have them this camp in the colors of camp. I'm gonna open this so you can see. I always feel like um, <laughs> I can never open, like if, if y'all weren't on here, if we weren't doing this live, I would open it so quickly with no problem. But as soon as I'm recording, now all of a sudden I'm struggling to open stuff. <laughs> so as you can see, they're double-sided and in the colors of camp, I really like this orange with the white lines and the teal with the white lines, just because the white lines just add this like extra flair to it. But I wanted to show you what those look like. You can also include them in your journaling there. And then also you get um, this alpha set made by Jill, which is a stamp set. Ooh, I've already used this. I use a separate one, but I've already used this. And then you also get a stencil. So here's a stencil for camp. Has like these little, I always think about Mary. Um, <laughs> Mary on the Illustrated Fake Tank when I see this. But she puts these little circles um, with the um, different colors, like, like the pie shape, the color wheel on the cheeks of um, the girls that she draws. <laughs> and then also, we got some ephemera, y'all. You know we love ephemera. And so I'm gonna open the bag. I might use this bag for something I don't know yet, so that's why I always open it carefully so I can reuse it if needed in my journaling. I'm just gonna show you real quick some of the things that are included here. You get little florals, some little stuff in here, y'all, so it might fall out my hand. <laughs> so, um, loving these big butterflies and some small clusters of florals. And you get bigger clusters of florals. This color, oops, this color scheme is, <laughs> Oops again. This color scheme is so pretty. I love those colors together. It's not my norm, but I really like it. So, ooh, look at those. Love that. Look at that butterfly. Y'all, this is my first time looking at all of this. So, um, I'm just as excited and surprised as you might be watching. I love these colors. Wow. It's definitely got camp vibes. So just, I'm gonna go through it a little quickly so you can see a little bit of everything. There's big and medium and small butterflies, more of those floral clusters. Y'all know I divide up all my ephemera and stuff when I first get it, but I'm not gonna do that um, right at this moment, but I just wanted you to see how varied this ephemera is give you some ideas just little tuck pieces or main decor that you can add to your camp journaling look at that oh love these big ones in the back let me see oh look at those colors so there's large and small versions of similar prints 
these big ones are gonna be hard for me to use, y'all. Oh Lord. I'm gonna have to force myself to use them because they're so pretty. Oh gosh, look at that, look at that. I think this is my favorite so far. Don't be surprised if I claim another favorite by the end of this kit. But that is some ephemera that comes for camp this year. I'm not gonna get that back in that bag right now, so I'm just gonna stick that to the side. Okay, along with these items, so we've seen some of the additional accessories. I now want to share with you the main squeeze, okay? <laughs> so we get two um, kits, one for June, one for July. I hope I got this in the right order. Let me just check real quick, because I thought I did, but I just want to make sure. Yes, so the lighter colored floral bag is for June, which will be starting next week now wow so here is all of what comes in june's kit which i will also be giving away okay all right so first y'all know sean and noel she is the best she always gives us a little thank you and something beautiful that we can include in our journaling and so i'm definitely probably gonna stick this inside my camera somehow um, with some kind of journaling on it. And then we get this small set of floral cards. Let me see what they look like. I haven't seen these yet. And I hope I'm right <laughs> about what it is. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay, y'all, I was right and it's even more beautiful than I thought. Oh my Lord, look at these, y'all. Woo! Oh, I'm using all these, even though know, I want to hoard them. Look, and we get little scriptures. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Listen, y'all. <laughs> Every time I unbox these kits, I know I sound like more excited than the time before. Look, and little quote cards. Oh, my gosh. Okay, y'all, this is given, and I'm definitely using this. And they're so little and cute. They're like mini, y'all. Look at these little cards. Okay, and then you get the little decorative cards. These are one-sided, just FYI. And these are um, so, uh, pattern cards. Wow, and I love these patterns. Some of them are the patterns from the washi. Some are um, patterns you haven't seen. Wow. Oh, and a little scene. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited to use this. I'm also excited to see how people in the community use these. That is so fun. Okay, so let me see. They're also might be. Y'all, they are the size of the trading cards. Oh, oh, I'm getting ideas. Okay, so let me just slow down. <laughs> I'm getting excited. You know, we always get a vinyl sticker, so it's our Camp Living Hope um, sardine can of camp items. Of course, you need Jesus and a butterfly, safety pin, pencil, and a match, because we on fire for the Lord. Praise Him. And then <laughs> I'm going to open the ephemera last so I can have the desk clear. But y'all, look at this Trail Mix Alpha. Oh my goodness, mixing these letters in um, stamping and our journaling is gonna be so fun. And, oh, look at this rub on. Oh my goodness. So this is called a bide. Oh, wow. I love that. It has um, scriptures that I'm sure are going to be included in the actual devotional. So here is the devotional book, which I'll give you a a uh, quick flip through but also want to tell you if you get both kits and you're like um which one is which first of all i'm going to use all of my items with both kits because i want to use as much of it as possible but um remember that this color bag is for june the lighter colored floral bag but if you forget and you mix up the books the um june book says welcome to camp on the inside 
the second devotional book for July, I believe says, welcome back to camp. Um, so that'll be like a quick reminder of how to remember that. So here's the inside where we got our contributing authors sharing for camp season. So we got Tiffany, Becky, Gina, and who's the last person? I believe it's Shauna. Let's see. Yep, and Shauna. So that that is all that you have for June, along with all these goodies. I need to also show you the um, ephemera for this one. So let me put this, I wanna keep them together. So don't forget, okay. Let me show you this cute ephemera. I'm telling you it's cute because I already know it is. I just opened a bag of ephemera. Y'all, how am I gonna use all this ephemera? How are we going to use all this ephemera? So, okay, here's the ephemera from the June kit. So I'll just quickly go through. Oh. Y'all, I just looked at the first piece and I'm already in love. <laughs> Y'all know I love flowers. I mean, I, I look like a flower. I, I got a floral pattern on right now. And so I'm just looking at this like, wow, that is so beautiful. I'm gonna try everything I can not to hoard these, these two pieces right here. Let me show you some more that comes. So we got some stars. Oh, y'all know I love birds because I wanted to be one. Mm, that bird is too cute. We got some washi strips and ephemera, the moon. Camp, word camp. We got luggage for glamping. Oh my goodness, that reminds me of Talia, my friend Talia at Chasing Olives. <laughs> I don't know why, maybe because she made me um, a little clip that um, has one of those bottle caps on it. She made me this little cap, and I keep it closed as you can see because I was able to quickly pick it up. But um, more washi strips, some clouds. Oh, look, y'all, my camp book, which I'm definitely going to put inside of my camera. Oh, my goodness. And some more birds. Oh, we get little bottle caps that identify the weeks. Okay, flashlight, signs, more stars. You need a map when you're camping in a tent. No, y'all, don't drink this. I was going to say a water bottle. This is definitely bug spray. <laughs> Some navigation, mushrooms for Tiff. It's just so much cute stuff. Fishing rod. Oh, my goodness, y'all. Look at this. Look at this. Let me pop this out so you can see this fishing rod in its full glory. Look at that. Look at that fishing rod. I can't fish, but I'm going to try for camp this year. <laughs> Some more weeks. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Tiffany is going to, if she hasn't seen this already, she's gonna fall in love. Camp chair. Thankful for this journey. Jesus is my living hope. Some little signs. This mushroom is cute. Now I'm not a big mushroom fan myself, but that one's cute. Reminds me of Mario Brothers. <laughs> and uh, so here's a little bit. I'm just gonna go through the rest of these kind of quickly. Oh, Y'all know this would have been my sleeping bag, praise the Lord. And then, oh, that bug! Now I don't like bugs, but why is he cute? This is Larry, y'all, Larry the bug. Oh, he got a name. And then bracelet. Okay, y'all, this is just a lot of goodness. There's so much stuff in here. I'm just thinking to myself, how am I gonna use all this? Ooh. I'm going to, this is going to create some layering fun for sure. Okay, so, all right, that, that bracelet, oh my gosh. Yo, somebody actually gave me this bracelet for camp a few years ago. I'm actually wearing it now and I'm seeing these bracelets show up. And look at the camera, y'all. We took some great photos with this camera. So this is the ephemera for the June kit. Y'all, this is just June I showed you. Oh my good. I'm not going to do that. Um, we haven't even gotten to July yet. <laughs> 
and don't forget you get all these little mini cards as well okay so let's go to july here is what we get in july is in the dark the pink bag pink floral bag just fyi open the ephemera last again we get the thank you card here's another stamp set the finding hope stamp set Ooh, butterflies florals finding hope another camera oh y'all lord have mercy <laughs> and check this out y'all i've never seen this in the kit before these are hope vellum strips so maybe you can't take all the washi with you but you can take these little washi sh strips on the go you know why you out in the woods <laughs> and then this is one of my favorites this is word fetty for camp hope so i'm just going to show you up close so you can just kind of see real quick some of the phrases here um one of the ones i like here to serve and walk in obedience that's my motto for life so i love those really cute for after you do a little cluster of layering to lay that over a phrase over top of that cluster and then here's a devotional book which i wanted to share with you hold on let me make sure i'm right um yeah well maybe not i don't know i thought it was a whole scene <laughs> i thought both books together was one scene but this also will show you um which is which because they do have a different design on the outside but i was correct july says welcome back to camp that's how you'll know that you're looking at the july devotional and inside it looks very similar to june but with new um devotionals from kelly I'm in here too, y'all. <laughs> Not yet, but and Beth, I think I'm next, and me. And also the last one is from Mary. So this is what you get. Oh, and we hate saying goodbye at the end of camp, retreat, whatever. But this is the closeout of the July devotional. And I want to share with you the ephemera y'all and then we'll be done unboxing all of this but look at all i've already opened like this is just such a great uh supply set of things for the for two months for the entire summer we'll have so much to read reflect on meditate on as we you know draw closer to god and so much goodness to create with oh my goodness okay so here's our july ephemera of course we start with another beautiful flower <laughs> and similar elements to the other set of ephemera but they look different so you might remember some of the butterflies from the other one these look different we got some um, layered clouds this time sunglasses more um, bottle caps that identify the week different phrases rainbow in this one i don't remember seeing a rainbow in the other um so it's some different stuff here stewardship i wonder which of these go with my devotion i'm gonna try to figure it out <laughs> so conversation bubbles the sun this is really really cool i'm so excited i'm more excited i i was excited I told Shauna at the retreat, the Illustrated Faith Hello Artist Retreat, I was like, why didn't you bring the kit with you so I could see it? <gasps> Look at this bird. Oh my goodness. Oh, I definitely had it upside down. Y'all, I liked it because it looked sleep. <laughs> I know somebody gonna message me about what I just said. I thought this was the bird that way. And then I just noticed the feet and turned it around. Y'all, this is the way the bird goes, but still a cute bird um but i was telling her telling shauna that i wanted to see it and she didn't have it with her at the retreat so oh yes need some fruit out in the woods oh my goodness oh my goodness these are so cute look at these some citrus oh some pine needles Y'all, uh, oh my goodness, calling on God 24 7. Another little mini camera, finding hope. I love these stars. 
another bird. Let's make sure he's not upside down. <laughs> My camp book. Just love all these little things. Those little cherries are so campy. Look at that hat. And then, y'all know I love their floral colors too. <laughs> And then more florals, ooh, that I don't want to use. Look at that, look at that. Mm, 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 mm. So this is the ephemera just from the July kit. Y'all, I am overwhelmed with all this stuff. I'm not gonna get this back in the bag. So um, what I thought I was going to do was organize all my camp stuff in my little pouch. That's not gonna happen right now because I got so much stuff. If I am able to organize it, I will share that with you again later. But for those of you who are here to win these kits, oh gosh, I can't even put them back together quickly enough. Um, let's see. All these kits, so July and June. That is what I'm giving away, the July and June kits. You won't get everything I unboxed in the video but you will get these two kits with all this ephemera, the stickers, the vellum washi, the stamp sets. They all come inside that those two packages. Um, all you have to do is comment below what your favorite part of summer is and what you're most looking forward to using from the kit. So two parts, okay? What's your favorite thing about summer? And then what's your favorite, what are you expecting to gain so much joy from and using from the two kits that I just unboxed with you all today? So thank you, y'all. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'm excited to share with you what I plan to do with this glorious kit. And I'm excited for a summer filled with fun during this camp season. Talk to y'all soon. Bye.